Hey, look what I found when I popped home. You know, I thought I'd thrown it out, but no, there it was, still in the bottom of the drawer. It's kind of cool, yeah? Yeah, well, it's original, that's for sure. <laughs> you know, I remember buying it at their concert in Wellington. I left all with Maxwell and caught the train in. Oh, it was the first night I'd had off in quite a while. It was so good to get out. <laughs> you went out by yourself? Oh, no, I met up with some girlfriends in town. Actually, I rang around a few of them who live up here, but no one was keen to come along, you know, but past it now, they reckon. <laughs> hey, so, uh, have you two booked, or should I go online and book tickets for three of us? Oh, no, no, we've, um, we've got us, thanks. Oh, okay. <sighs> Maybe I'll give it a miss. It's probably booked already. Yeah, uh, probably. Uh, we heard that bookings were really heavy, yep. Yeah, yeah. We should probably get back to work. Yeah, um, oh, I've got time sheets to finish. Sorry. Mind if I join you for a second? Not at all. And you are? Bethany Hall, ED consultant. Bethany, of course, Callum Mackay. I know. <laughs> I owe you an apology. I've been meaning to get down to ED and meet you properly. Oh, hey, no worries. You're a busy man. <laughs> so, how are things? Uh, do we measure up? Mm, I think you might. We might? <laughs> Seriously? I'm impressed. You don't have the financial resources that I'm used to, but it doesn't seem to hold the department back. Everyone's very open to new ideas, too. Good. Well, we try. We're just Kiwi battlers over here. <laughs> you are. You're lucky to have Maxwell Lavia. He's very good. Oh, we intend on keeping him, too. Excellent. He has vision. Don't always get that with the head of department. Mm, I agree. So you'll listen to him? I'm um, not sure what you're asking. <laughs> not my place to say, but from what I've heard so far, I'd back his ideas all the way. Good to meet you. And you. So if it's male and it has a pulse, she'll flirt with it. It's unbelievable. Should I take that personally, Nicole? Sorry, just me having a whinge. So she boots me out of ED and then she's all over my boyfriend like a rash. He's so stupid, he's flattered by it. It's driving me nuts. Do you mind if I use the copier? Well, if that's who you're copying, I'll do it. Thanks. Ooh, this looks important. It's for a job interview. Are you planning on leaving? I thought you'd like to hear. I do, but this is a position with a very well-known researcher. You saw sense. Put it there. When's your interview? This afternoon. Are you feeling all right about it? A bit nervous. You'll be fine. One look at your CV and there'll be a pushover. Just don't get all shy and sell yourself short. I won't. Best of luck. Just go and knock my socks off. Yeah, totally, what she said. Knock their socks off. Jill, can you do an extra hour tonight? Oh, no, sorry, I can't. Oh, well, it won't affect the concert. Um, you'll be out in plenty of time. You do know I'm leaving now, don't you? Uh, no, you're not. Your shift hasn't finished. No, no, I emailed you last week, yeah? I've got to leave earlier. I've got a physio appointment. And I've got nurses calling in sick. You can reschedule, surely. Uh, no, I can't, and I don't see why I should have to. Fine. I'll deal with it. Deal with your communication skills while you're at it. What did you just say? <sighs> you're the one who insists on all these rules and routines. If you just let us come and talk to you, maybe you wouldn't have all these glitches. Winston, can you give me an extra hour? Now? Yes. I mean, you're just popping down the road to get takeaways, and it's fine. I, I really need you here. Actually, I forgot about the takeaways. I have somewhere else I need to be in 20 minutes. We've got patients waiting to be transferred from ED. I'm two nurses down already, please. I really need a favour. Make my day. Fine. Where do you want me? Can I come in? If you want to. I think you're probably here to officially terminate our relationship, but I prefer if you waited until the end of the day. I've got quite a lot of work to be getting on with, and I'd rather not be distracted by personal matters. I need to apologize. Thank you. Please, Gabrielle, just hear me out. I, I tried to be spontaneous, which is actually quite hard for me, if not impossible. And I failed. I understand why you want to finish it. Will, will you just listen? I, I am listening. Will, will, I mean, will you just shut up for a minute and let me talk? Okay. 
I thought you said you wanted to talk. I let you down. I, I realized that you were trying really hard, and I, I know that you were doing it for me, and at the time I couldn't see it, and that's why I lost it. Why well, you were being an egg? Yes, why well, I was being an egg. It won't happen again, I promise. So you breaking up with me or not? Come here. You're not breaking up with me. Correct. Because I love you. What does that mean, that you're happy with me the way I am? It means that sometimes I have to be a bit more patient. And it means there's no one else in the world I'd rather be with. It's at the ideas stage at present, but I thought, you know, worth floating it by you. Sure. Uh, next step is looking at funding possibilities. OK, talk to Rachel. She can help you with a business plan. Oh, so we've got your backing? Absolutely. I'm behind anything that will raise our profile. Come on, that's politics talking. I need to know if you actually buy into the wellness clinic concept. Am I a true believer? That's something like that. Well, as a matter of fact, I am. And I'm not the only one. Sorry? You have a big fan. She made a point of introducing herself today and turning on the big charm offensive. All for your benefit, I suspect. Who? Bethany? Ah. Uh -huh. Well, she's certainly into the concept. Mm -hmm. Very smart cookie. I'll bet she is. And very persuasive, too. There's nothing wrong with that. Hmm? What? Nothing. Just keep it on the level. That's all I ask. 